I was invited to come to Austria to give a presentation for a, a program called the Zero Project, mm -hmm. uh, which is focusing on education for disabled children. When I was five, I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. My mom took me to school, and so this was in the 1950s. At that time in the United States, we didn't have any laws that protect the rights of children or adults with disabilities, and I was denied admission into the public school. It's important to understand what some of the issues are and the commonality of the issues that disabled people and others are facing within a country to be able to more effectively engage with our counterparts in governments mm -hmm. as well as civil society. The education system sent a teacher to my house for uh, two and a half hours a week uh, until I was nine years old and then I got into a segregated program for disabled children. All things are possible. They may not all be possible today, but we have to keep creating a vision of what we believe in the area of human rights as disabled people. You know, where are our barriers and where do we need to continue to fight to break down those barriers and how do we learn from what we've achieved and continue and also hold governments and others accountable for things that they have responsibility to ensure, like development of effective laws, implementation of those laws. There were pretty low expectations for what we were going to be able to do when we grew up. I'm meeting with uh, civil society organizations and a representative from Parliament to talk about uh, disability legislation in Austria, strengths and weaknesses. What I feel good about is that the efforts that I and my friends started when we were young, uh, we also reached out across the United States to other groups of people with similar objectives and really began to create more of a national movement that we've worked with disabled people around the world. The inclusion of disability into the work of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe mm -hmm. is a relatively new issue. And so this week we'll be doing a series of meetings with the Secretariat and other member states for the OSCE to discuss refugees with disabilities, on trafficking issues, on elections, various other topics. And the countries within Europe are doing some good work on the advancement of inclusion of disabled people, it's still not where it needs to be. Uh, U.S. laws in many cases are much stronger in the area of disability and human rights and civil rights protections than they are in uh, many countries in Europe. Uh, tell their stories about the types of discrimination, the types of isolation, the low expectations, the violence against disabled individuals and to make these stories public. Our stories are powerful. Our fight for equality is just, and it's our responsibility to make it happen.